Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Come over, have a seat. We're about to get started. Classes in section. If I can even talk, what is that? I have coffee in front of me. I promise I'm awake. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my attempt at drawing a candy cane in a little snowflake on my face. This was my first attempt at ever like really drawing on my face because I usually just stick to doing my eyes. So just kind of wanted to challenge myself and do something new because I feel like in order to grow in your artistry you have to challenge yourself and you know I'm I'm not like perfect at doing makeup so I want to challenge my shell my my shelf and <laughs> just do little things like drawing on my face so yeah today is just a cute little tutorial doing that so I hope you guys enjoy if you guys want to see how I attempted on doing the candy cane and the snowflake then just keep on watching <laughs> to prime my eyelids I'm just doing something like <laughs> look at how freaking messy I did that I really don't care right now do I um, I'm just doing something kind of simple on the eyes and then I'm gonna do like you know my little candy canes and my little mediocre snowflakes on the on the face so today's palette I'm using the sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills one of my favorite packagings they've ever done I honestly would say this is my favorite packaging because all the other ones have like a velvet feel which is super cute but something about this one I think we know why because it's sparkly Duh, who doesn't like sparkles and glitter so on the inside it's just like a good neutral palette I'm just gonna be doing something super neutral super cute with this little guy today <laughs> what was that first things first I'm gonna go in with this shade birch right here to put right in the crease so I'm just going to do something soft like I said earlier so I'm just taking this transition shade right into the crease also going to take it and just stamp it right here and then I'm also going to use this shade twig right here just over top of um, the other shade birch just to kind of soften things up so I'm thinking about going in with rose quartz this little dude right up here just all over the lid and rose quartz I'm just going to use some setting spray just to make it more of like a metallic eyeshadow so it's a little bit easier to apply and less fallout as well. All right, so I'm just gonna go back in with that same brush that I used on birch and twig, just to kind of, oh girl, that was a hair, just to kind of soften everything up because I'm basically done with this eye shadow look. I'm going to uh, obviously add some eyeliner and some mascara and then definitely like highlight my inner corner. But like I said, I just wanted to do something so easy and so neutral. My eyeliner today is the Jet Black Eyeliner from e.l.f. Cosmetics. If you've been watching me since I started my channel, this is literally... Ah! Almost literally... <laughs> Dude, I'm so dramatic. I almost like... At least I'm not wearing foundation. It would have just went all over me and I would have been like, where's that makeup wipe? And okay, okay, back back to set schedule, you know? So I'm just going to take this and make a wing today. I know I said this in other videos, but what you're going to want to do is follow that lower lash line out. That's what works for me. You will obviously on your eyeliner journey find out what works for you, but take it out like so. And then you're just going to want to drag it in. Let me add a little bit more product. And then obviously I go back in because I like mine to look a little bit pointy. So I just take a makeup wipe and I cut that. So I'm going to go do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so my eyes are all done. Now I zoomed you guys in just a little bit closer so you guys can see all the little details that I'm doing. But first, let's put on some foundation. 
I'm gonna go in with a primer. This one is by e.l.f. It's their Poreless Putty Primer. I'm just gonna take my primer and start by just putting it all over my face for my foundation. Right, so I have this little tray right here. I bought this off of Amazon. I don't remember how much it was, but I bought it for when I do makeup on other people that I can just, you know, squirt it on here and not my hand. Y'all yeah, know what I mean. So I'm gonna be using it today to put my foundation on. I have the e.l.f. foundation right here. I'm gonna do one little squirt of that. In case you guys are wondering, this is the shade, shade Natural. And then this is the Maybelline foundation in the shade Porcelain 110, I believe. Porcelain 110. Now I just been doing like a squirt of each of that because one's too light and one's too dark. So I just been mixing them together. And I can't find my little mixer, so I'm using the back of a brush like a classy lady. So I did a little test, and it looks like it looks pretty good. Hopefully it looks good on camera and I don't look super pasty. So I'm just going to start by patting it all over my face, like so. And I literally take it over here, under my chin, you know, literally everywhere. You, you guys know. Another trick is I always put it on my ear too just because I just feel like sometimes my ears will get a little red so I just like I don't add any new product I just add it on my ear just slightly you know I don't want it to look too too much on the ear you know. Next I'm going in with this Maybelline Maybelline no girl this is Milani concealer I've been loving this one it doesn't crease when I wear it like all day at work so I think it's a pretty good drugstore concealer it's in the shade 110 I am just going to add my concealer right here with my beauty blender i'm just blending her out with any extra product like from you know taking it underneath the eye i just take it and i add it on my chin and i also add it around my nose because around my nose i'm always red you probably saw from before for me i feel like it's it's so red and then i also add it on my chin just because of out of habit i don't know why it's just always been my chin when i have any extra and the setting powder i'm going to use to set my under eyes is this one right here it's a translucent power from powder not a power oh my god power <laughs> but this is a translucent setting powder from Ciate London. I got it in, I believe, like a boxy charm or Itsy Glam Bag. I don't know. I got it from one of those two. I just keep it in the lid like so. And then take it on my beauty blender. And then I'm just going to press it underneath the eye and go back and forth. So then nothing creases up. And then I take an all over face powder. This is from MAC Cosmetics. It's their mineral foundation, I believe. Mineral skin finish, that's what it's called. In the shade Light Plus. With just your favorite fluffy brush. This one's from e.l.f. I just take it and I pat it all over like so. And first I always start on the neck. I don't know why, out of habit, I just always start up the neck. And then I bring my way up to my face. But then I start like patting it on when I get to my face because I just feel like if I like do like that, I don't know, I just feel like it's taking away my foundation. I don't know, it's just been like the weirdest little habit I've always had. I just tap it on like so and then I just kind of with it wipe away any of that translucent setting powder just so it doesn't look so like white cast underneath my eye. And off camera I'm just going to do some bronzer and some blush so I'll be right back. Okay I'm back. I know you guys missed me but I'm here. I have my contour and my blush on. With this little guy right here, that little dude from Amazon, I'm going to be putting on um, my stuff that I'm going to be using my little candy canes and snowflakes with. For the red I'm going to use Red Rum from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and then I'm going to be using the white shade from Jeffree Star Cosmetics called Drug Lord. So this is my first time ever like drawing a little candy cane on me. So something in my brain tells me to use the red first. So I'm just going to put it on this little board. I just have like a tiny bit. Now this is a brush from uh, Mac Cosmetics. It's a 209 brush. Let's see how this is going to turn out. I'm a little bit worried, even though it's something super easy. But hey, I don't really draw on my face too much. But let's see. So I'm just going to take it and um. Just make like a candy cane. I want it to be kind of thick. So let's see. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> okay, okay. We can redeem this. Oh, ma'am. Let's try it again. Okay, that's... Okay, it might look like a little rough, but that's not horrible. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. with a second layer. Second layer. Let's see how this one's gonna go. Oh, there we go. Okay, not that bad. 
so I'm not totally like happy about this so I'm just gonna try to change the way it looks I feel like that candy cane just looks a little funky I have an idea though I'm gonna actually kind of like curve it you know how hard this is doing with this one hand like how I get so excited over drooling a little candy cane so obviously guys um that doesn't look bad now hopefully this is the easy part you know in order to grow you have to challenge yourself so I'm definitely challenging myself by doing something like this on my channel you know stepping out of your comfort zone drawing a freaking candy cane on your face it's a little tricky y'all you know getting all you know the position if I had you know both hands maybe be easier but you know what I'm making it work with the shade drug lord I'm just going to start by adding the stripes on okay that's cute okay I'm like checking myself out in all angles I'm like oh well give me a call I know I just drew a candy cane on my face and at first it looked like trash but <laughs> trash and a treasure okay, so I have the candy cane on this side I kind of want to draw a snowflake on this side which might be a fail because I feel like it might be harder drawing it on that side of the face but I'm challenging myself that's what we're doing and if I fail I'm still uploading it because I don't care and I honestly thought this candy cane was gonna be a fail but I'm honestly proud of it I don't know if I mentioned before but the brush that I'm using because the first one was a Mac one this one is um from BH cosmetics is that all it says BH cosmetics it has a 12 on it BH cosmetics 12 you know it's just like a brush that you would use for some eyeliner With the shade drug Lord I'm just going to make the line like so So I'm thinking about adding, you know, like the little little arms onto it. Is that what they call it? horrible for a first attempt at ever drawing a snowflake like I'm not mad now I'm just going to start by drawing the snow on my face which girl this does not need to be perfect I am just putting this wherever like I said I'm not making it perfect just doing it wherever I want to put my fake snow. All right, guys, so I'm actually pretty happy with how the results look. Like, for my first attempt at ever drawing a candy cane and a snowflake on my face, like, I'm sure on paper, that that would be so easy, but on my face, using one hand, I'm sure the mirror was shaking because I was just, like, nervous about messing up on camera, but you know what? That's just, you know, how it is sometimes. You gotta grow. You gotta try stuff you know something new something new that's what I meant to say and you know, I'm trying to trying to be inspirational right now so yeah I tried something new you know by drawing the little candy cane and a snowflake I'm gonna go in with a little Christmas lipstick this is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics I'm definitely gonna butcher the name but it's poinsettia I'll put the name on the screen but well we all know I can't talk to save my life I just found out I can't say carolers like why do I say it like that carolers like a Christmas caroler like why do I sound like like the weirdest person like I don't know it's weird but anywho lipstick I kind of want to add like a little bit of some gloss to it I have these two out in front of me that I picked I picked like one that's a little darker and one that's more like a little champagne but I'm kind of leaning towards this darker one check name check is called date night and I know that's from Mac cosmetics so I'm going to take this little bit of gloss and I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle. OK, 
Okay, so hopefully I don't have gloss in my teeth. I really feel like I need to wear gloss more often because my lips look so cute. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has watched this video of me attempting to draw a candy cane and a little snowflake on my face. And I'm proud of the work that I put out for my first attempt at ever doing something like this. For my channel, I'm just going to try to, you know, challenge myself with, you know, little things like this every once in a while. So I hope you guys appreciate it and know that I am not perfect at everything. I know like my eyeshadows sometimes can look like, oh my god, how'd you do that? That looks so good. But there's some things that I'm not even good at. So you know what? Everybody can learn and everybody can grow still. And if you guys aren't subscribed, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. So then hopefully, you know, next December of December 2020, I will try this look one more time and we will see, you know, how I grow from, you know, a whole year of, you know, practice drawing on my face. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you in my next video. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.